Hi right, everybody. I want to show you a little tip, a little trick here um, on, on setting up this uh, XL boat. This thing comes with a with a texture on it, okay? And it's a real good texture. Um, really, really coarse. What happens is when we put these track systems in, they go, and this is a factory cut right here, they cut these uh, access holes in here, okay? We got a couple videos on how to cut these, but this company already puts them in there. But what happens is, you take, and they cut them in there for, for a carriage bolt, okay? And uh, they make a, what they call a T-lock bolt that goes in some of these and turn it and it locks in place. But, but the good thing about these things, you, know, you can pick these up at Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere, any place like that. But what happens is this carriage bolt, because of the thickness of the coating, this carriage bolt, which that slot is a 5 16 slot, and see that coating won't let that go down through there, okay? Now, somebody might tell you that just get a quarter twin. Now, this is a smaller one. You can see the size difference in them, okay? But this is smaller. You see, it'll go right in there. But it goes in there really good, really free. But the problem is, if you look at it real close, that thing turns too much, okay? If you ever have a mount that you need to move and take off, take off and it's seized up, you'll turn and all it's going to move is that, that texture material. And then you're going to have a problem getting the bolt off of it, the nut. So what we, what we want to show you is, Here's what we do. We, we take these carriage bolts and they don't quite fit in there. We take one, I got one here that we got already ground a little bit off, okay? If you can see that, we just take and grind one little side off the square, okay? And uh, and what we do, we take this thing and we, we clamp it in a pair of vice grips, put your safety glasses on, we take a side grinder with a cutoff wheel on it. And I got even a little bit too much off of this right here, but you can take and hit that edge a little bit, okay? It's like that, put a little flat on it. And then this carriage bolt will go in there, just like that, okay? And it's a lot tighter, okay? Uh, and, then, and then they'll slide all the way down. And I, I've even done this before and slide these carriage bolts down the, the side here. And, uh, and then there'll be a piece of where it's globbed up a little bit. You may have to take a razor knife and you know clean it off a little bit. Sometimes these things will have a burr around this hole. You have to clean that up a little bit so you get your carriage bolt in there. But that's, that's what we do, because you want this carriage bolt to fit good, not super sloppy. But uh, anyway, just a little tip on how to get the bolts and stuff in these, these track systems, right? Don't go too small and be too sloppy with it. You'll wish you wouldn't later. But anyway, have a good one.